Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make a green hot chocolate. You could also drink this drink cold, depending what your mood is. But now that it's getting cold and you need something to warm you up, I'm going to move for hot chocolate. So this is made with two cups of spinach, one half of an avocado, four teaspoons of coconut sugar, two tablespoons of flax seeds, two tablespoons of cacao powder, yes, and two teaspoons of vanilla, one cup of almond milk, and one cup of water. Now you don't need a Nutribullet to make this since it's a measured thing, but this just comes to the max line if you were using a 24 ounce cup. Now I love cinnamon, it's another booster. It, it's actually good for regulating sugar as well. So I'm going to put one half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And if you're looking for organic cinnamon, you can find it at Whole Foods. Using the extractor blades or the blend high speed blender of your choice, you're going to make this until it's nice and smooth. Alright, so I would test this before putting this on the stove. It's, it's good, it's a little on the bitter side because cacao is a very bitter chocolate, it's like raw chocolate, but it kind of reminds me of chocolate pudding. That's what it tastes like to me. Mm. I could drink this as it is now. So I'm going to put this on the stove and then taste it now hot. Alright, so what you want to do is pour this into a saucepan. I can't seem to find my wooden spoon so I'll just use this. You want to stir it though. You don't want to boil it. You just want to get it nice and warm. Um, if the cacao is too bitter for you, then try the Trader Joe's organic hemp protein powder. Or if you're not ready for that, then try the Trader Joe's um, cocoa uh, powder. It's unsweetened though. So, I, I mean, it took me a while to really like the taste of cacao powder. Like I said before, it's a very bitter chocolate taste. Like dark chocolate, but um, it's extremely healthy for you and it's just... It's just a nice twist on hot chocolate slash green drink. So let me just continue warming this up and then um, put it in my cup and then that's it. Alright guys, I, I heated up the uh, chocolate. I didn't boil it because you don't want to kill the nutrients and I don't want it to burn my tongue. I sprinkled some cinnamon on the top because I'm just, I just love me some cinnamon. So let me taste it, the final test. It's good. It's not great, but it's really good. Um, I definitely can see myself drinking this again. I actually like it better cold um, than warmed up, but it, overall it's a very nutritious drink. It's a nice twist on hot chocolate, and um, it works for me. Now, if you guys think this was a little too weird or gross, don't worry. I have a more traditional hot chocolate mate with this chocolate tea that I wasn't crazy about. Um, check out the links to this post. But since I paid so much money for the tea, I decided to try to save it, and I did. So if you want a, um, to try the hot chocolate tea, then click to the next link. And until my next post, Gadget Trish is out. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.